Can I improve relations even more? Twenty-two percent. Uh, <clears throat> well, get the Hansa. Okay, so this is the plan. We get the Hansa. Get Luke back. Yeah, get Hansa. Get Westphalia. Get the Netherlands. And then form the thing and then move away from Europe. Easy, right? Painless. I'm trying to ignore the sound of me getting pirated, but it's so annoying. This governing capacity is uh, really stopping me from expanding any further. This is the big problem. Muscovy wants an alliance. Nah. Why would I? They already lost a bunch of crap, including Moscow. Yeah, they lost a lot of things. A rich part of Russia. Who said there are, who said we cannot invade Russia in winter? The Poles did it. Hansa. How much depth they have? 2134. Wow. That's going to be a pain in the ass. Well, but the. Uh, yeah. It sucks. It sucks, chat. This sucks a lot. But they are reformed. Yeah, so it's not as bad as I thought it would be.
Do we have universities? State house, paper, glass, or gems. Looks like I don't have much choice but to take this. Easier to in the beginning so you don't suffer so much AE. In the beginning, I don't know, man. I'm Frank. I was Frankfurt, man. I'm not fucking Brandenburg. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm not like unstoppable or anything. I wish I was, but I'm not. Oh wait, what? We got ivory. Oh, that's amazing. State maintenance. Maybe I'll just get rid of this. State maintenance. My army's thick and they are expensive. Norm's got easy ally electors, true, but uh, again, I was Frankfurt and I have better things to do than dismantling HRE. Because dismantling the, uh, uh, dismantling the HRE also means you get fucked when Ottoman attack you. You have to remember, I also re relying on. Uh, I'm also relying on um, Austria and friends to protect me. I mean, like in, like they didn't align the big guys this time, but at least like, look, like we have, like, these electors will all do something, right? Like, hey, what is that? Lübeck conquest. Ah, they won look that's nice. They attacked that with the Hamburg or Bremen. Bremen is not Austria. Yes, we will just do this. We'll just do this. Did we improve relation with this guy? We did.
have a manufacture on fish? No way. How much can we save? 40. Three hundred and six. I don't think I can get any of that, so yeah. Okay, what if I take this? Hamburg. Badenberg. That doesn't look like a lot of guys who's gonna hate me for it. What's my national tax? Sure, five tickets a month. Force religion. What is the force religion when you do? Yeah, force religion would be nice, actually. Printing press appears in Hamburg. I think I should just develop printing press, man, like... Like, it would be a lot easier. Let's burn some tax, I guess. Uh, it would lower my... Help me with my economy. It would help a lot with my economy. Give me some cash flow. Lower my governing cap. Pressure and all that. Plus 10% reform progress growth. I actually wonder, does that even do anything? Oh, it's not even 10%, it's 5%. I honestly don't think it actually was doing anything whatsoever. Increases the influence, but uh... it's like this one, right? Provincial 
scale with influence. So if they have like half 50% influence, it's just like 12% man uh, trade power modifier, something like that. Okay, what is going on? What is this fucking... Someone is privateering me and just like every month is happening and then do like, you know, just coming up and up and, and gone, up and gone. It's just so annoying. Of course. I'm still nowhere closer to getting five provinces for, to convert, honestly, which is uh, a shame. I'm basically doing everything I can also to like basically control my governing cap so it doesn't go haywire. This is so annoying. Like, I shouldn't have to do that, frankly. I just don't, shouldn't have to do all this shit. Apparently Burgundy has been spamming trade buildings. Force limit building, we don't need them no more. Wait, we already have a manufactory there.
Dominator Rhein. Straßburg, Nürnberg. Strasbourg. There was Nürnberg. Nü Wait, why? what? We have to go all the way there to conquer Nürnberg. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that. It's surprisingly slow, this institution spread. Cool. Damn. What a bummer. Wait, I can uh, maybe, just maybe, neighboring heretic religion. That's a bit of a problem. They're not gonna accept this anyways, so. Thurden. Deep reputation. We have, uh, what is it, three? Five? Five. So... Yeah, I don't think I can increase my Deep rep that much, unfortunately. Fucking XRE, bro. Why is everyone so upset anyway? This is all Protestant. Reformed. Reformed. Well, next step, I want to take Bremen. But this is uh, Catholic. Maybe we can have this. No! Shit. Blit. Well, it is what it is. I'm gonna save some points and make uh, Iceland... Uh, give Iceland a bit of development. Just... Well, I have to move capital anyway, so I might as well make it a bit easier on myself. What about these things? What the fuck there? What the fuck's going on there? Karelia. Maybe we can do something about that. And hire... Uh, um, an Inquisitor, perhaps. percent discipline mm. 
cheat. Wait, we can't- we just can't get the guy for some reason. Like, the game just won't let- give it to me. Finally. There we go. Now we can convert some things. Legitimacy improve relations. Sure, let's take improve relations. It will help anyway, somehow. 5.4 year. All right, the colony is done. And we have no universities yet. It is not available. And we, what, 3,000? Are, are they nuts? Lübeck, uh, Bremen is allied with Denmark, and uh... Your A is going down. Thing next war. I need some more wars, otherwise my army tradition goes down. We can what? Increase improve relations to one hundred. Um, send gift influence nation for one fifty. Right. One fifty. And then. No wait. Ah, shit. Alliance. Alliance fifty. Yeah, Alliance 50, Royal Marriage 25, so that's 75, Improved Relation 175, Send Gift and Influence Nation 225, with Subsidies 240. 
And neighboring heretic is minus 40. So is 200. 200. But progressive games, I think we can do this. Ally and uh, grab everything. All for facilization. This is something I want to do. Helps a bit with AE. I mean, there's also one less guy to fight. Franz. Oh, we also have to. We can uh, transfer trade power over military access and stuff. Yeah, this is totally doable. Okay, another improved relations to 187. That means minus almost six a year. It doesn't really get make make much difference anymore. It's like 50, five point something to six. This doesn't really a big difference. Influence niche as a gift. Or or for facilization, done. Ordenburg is now mine. <laughs> Beautiful. Now let's have a look at this mission tree. It's the same. Hey, but at least uh. Well, he's Westphalian. He has to be in part of Westphalia. Who owns Holy Land? I do. At Westphalia strong. I do. I am holy, I'm Roman, and I am a kingdom. I should make, they should make this into an achievement, like be the XRE and conquer the Holy Land. That's how you become Holy Roman Empire. Without the Holy Land, you're not holy. Diplomat plus one. Good thing is, this is what? Catholic, so nobody cares if we wipe them out. Man, why is this so expensive? This is nuts, bro. 2,000 ducats. No, I'll just pay this. Screw it. I'll just pay a bit more points. 30% is not that much, right? 30% is like what? 800, 600 times... 30% is like 100 po 180 points. Right? Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, that's 180 points. I mean, it's a bit, but... Like, points is... I have a lot of points right now, so I don't actually mind paying a bit of that. Thing is, the money is a bit more important, I think. I'm gonna build some manual factories now, that's what I wanna do. I wanna take a loan. From the Burgess. Interest per annum. State maintenance. 
reduce inflation costs. Scale with loyalty, however. So again, not much point there. Minus 2.5% construction cost. Yeah, that's just... I don't think I have any... I don't think I have any other way to get construction cost reduction, right? I think... That's that then. Okay, which Christian nomination is the best in the game? Uh, Orthodox. Orthodox is great. Um, Protestant is great. Catholic is decent nowadays, but I think Protestant is still stronger than Catholic. Yeah, I think, yeah. Orthodox is the best. Protestant is probably next. If, if Coptic remains the same, then Coptic is kind of trash. Uh, Reformed was... I mean, after they re gave a bunch of bonus to Catholic and Protestant, Reform is not as strong anymore. Yeah, I think Orthodox... Protestant, a Catholic, it would be my choices. It's like, the reform is still good, but Protestant is just way stronger right now. Like, the selling point of reform is the tolerance, but you could easily just take humanism and get, get enough tolerance. And, I mean, like, there's no... You're not losing out anything taking humanist. And, um, yeah, Coptic is just neglected completely. So, that would, like I said, that would be my choices. Bohemian, who is the next guy? Loose something out there. Yes, there he is. This actually is kind of messy. What the fuck is going on? Who are you allied with? 
Nobody. Maybe that's fine then. Use Bohemia to pay off some debts? Why not? Prestige. Seven prestige. Nice. Sports religion is actually pretty good for the prestige. Oh, and uh, after that I can take a military idea set finally. Non-Catholic cannot get excommunicated. I mean, not getting excommunicated is not that difficult. Just have positive relations with the Pope, right? It's like the easiest thing you can do. Just send a diplomat over there. Um, the thing is that actually... No, no, no. Actually, the problem with Catholic is that unless you are a big nation... And you're actively converting stuff, like you're just conquering stuff, converting stuff, spreading Catholicism. You're, you're, the religion is pretty useless. Because like, the thing with Catholic is that you rely on PayPal credits to buy bonuses, right? These strong bonuses. Like, if you are not, like if you're sitting around, you're not going to get influence much. Like, just look at me. Each year you get five, so every ten years I can pick one bonus, which is ten years, man. Ten years. You can just buy indulgence. Yeah, but like it costs money, right? Like, what the fuck? Like, why would you want to, like, like, the other religion doesn't have this interaction, right? You don't have to, there's no cost to it associated with it. You just get a bonus, you don't get a penalty for it. But, like, coming back to this, it's like, first of all, the courier controller relies on gambling, right? You're spending the fucking PayPal credits to gamble for it, and most of the time you don't get it. So I would never consider this to be an actual bonus. I mean, look at this. It's so strong as fuck, right? But when is the last time you got it? Like, you never get it? You're just like, mm, it doesn't exist. Because you can't consistently use it. Um, if you get these bonuses, you need 50 or 100. And, like, for example, I'm big, right? Like, I mean, everyone can get at most 7 cardinal, no matter how big you are. So, 3.5 is the base, uh, base income you can get. If you take religious, you will get a little bit more, but honestly, I don't think it makes a massive difference. Like, and then you need the opinion boost. To, if you want to maximize it, which means that you need to basically waste a diplomat on the Pope constantly for no good reason. I mean, yeah, you can ally him, but then it takes up a depot slot, right? I'm allied with Austria, I'm allied with Commonwealth, I'm allied with Castile, I married Muscovy for a chance of PU, right? And then, like, I just vassalized Ordenburg, so I, like, I have the slots, I can use it somewhere else. So this is the problem. And so what is the actual income of your PayPal credits? You convert stuff. Everything you convert, like based on development, you get like a bonus when the conversion is completed. That's where most of it actually come from. And that's why, unless you're playing something like Ottomans or World, World Conquests, like just keep conquering stuff and converting stuff, Catholic actually isn't going to be much use to you. Right? It, because you these bonuses is too it's like they are they're far and in between. However, powerful dogs, no problem. You just get it, you don't lose it. Right? You build up your uh what was it, the patriarch authority, you just build it up. Like it might cost you something, but you build it up. Over time you just get stronger and stronger and stronger, right? And then you just hit the point you just hit the end point of one hundred percent and then you get all the goodies. 
Um, and then, and you can convert everything, you get unrest reduction, you get manpower, it's just good. Uh, Protestant is good also, because the church power comes from just stability and, and just sitting there. And you, once you picked it, you don't lose it. Like, unless you unslot it. Once you picked it, it's slotted, then you just get it for the rest of the game. You don't just suddenly lose it. Of course, there's, there's also a second point that there's a secondary bonus to the church power abilities, right? It lasts 10 years. So for example, if you pick the one for aggressive expansion minus 10%, it also comes with uh, minus 5% war score cost on provinces for 10 years. So every 10 years, you should cycle it and unslot it. But uh, if you don't do that, you still get the 10% AE. So, or what was it? 2.5% discipline, 10% morale, or 5% morale, something like that. So yeah. It never runs out. And that's the problem with reform as well. Like the selling point of reform is the tolerance, but the the the, the fucking ability runs on a timer. And you can lose it, which is kind of like dumb. Because Yeah. Well, when you ask which Catholic is the best, and which Christian is the best, and that's why I give you this answer, right? Like, Orthodox don't run out. Protestants don't run out. Once you set up, it runs for the entire game. Worry-free, it stays strong. Catholic, if you're going World Conquest or a colonizer and just converting stuff, then sure, it's not bad. But like, for example, Reformed is just trash because you're you're like a tolerant religion. It, if you play in Europe, it was super strong because you don't have to take humanists to get tolerance. But uh, nowadays, you just don't really need it. And then, what was it? Uh, that was Coptic, which is like neglected since forever. They have like five abilities and that's it. And like, I mean, Coptic used to be decent. It used to be completely useless and then they made a DLC, gave it some abilities and then it used to be decent. And then now the power creep continues to build up and then Coptic is neglected and never updated. Nobody remembers it. Then it's just completely outdated by this point. Why is my general dying on store? Come on. Suka. I think I actually don't need defensive. I mean, defensive is nice, but I think I want to get offensive first this time. Offensive with the better generals and shit. I mean, we can ally the Pope. Why not? It will cost me, though. Oh, actually, what about this stuff? Saxony. Oh, we don't need these. How Anglican compared to other Christian nominations? Absolute dog shit. <laughs> I would I would just stay Catholic or go Protestant. Why would you even want to be Anglican? Like there's no literally nothing special about it. You get some abilities like other religion, but then like you're alone in the world. Nobody likes you for a start. Nobody likes you. You're alone. You're no friends. It's not like it is overpowered. I mean, for I mean honestly, man, 
If you go Coptic, at least you get those five bonuses straight up, and then you never have to, like, do anything to get them, right? Like, actually, you have to conquer some, what was it, five provinces? But that's it. If you, you go Orvodok, at least you get a big friend called Russia, and you can probably PU him at one point, because you just mar you will just be a nat natural ally. You will marry him. And again, you get all the bonus that are permanent and useful. And you can also build up your, uh, your, 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 you have like seven missionaries, at least, back in the day. That's the thing, like, back in the day, they carefully get five missionaries, the other Christians get six, Orthodox get seven. If you want to do one faith, Orthodox is like super strong, because of the raw amount of missionaries. And if you have an extra one like Spain, then you got eight, which is like completely broken. And then you form Persia. And then you form Persia and get nine. <laughs> Something like that. It's actually pretty broken. Those were the fun days. I don't know about nowadays though, but I think the only amount of missionary only added. They only got higher because uh uh, of all the monuments. Instead of getting lower, it's actually got higher. I mean, like, there was, like, one in Norway, which is very accessible for a start. Who the fuck is privateering me non-stop? Muscovy... Yeah, they have cores in Ottoman, so they're not gonna like each other. I think France and Ottomans are friendly with each other, but... Uh... Can we attack me back again? Not yet. We can vassalize him though. We attack me back, take Bremen. And Verdun. Um, this is Saxony. Lower Saxon. Wait, I do get a, I get a permanent claim on this shit, right? Where is it? Fast running get permanent in Westphalen. Lower Saxony. Oh, should have. Wait. Palatinate area. Belies. Yeah, that, 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 that changes things. <laughs> I'm not going to fight Palatinate right now. Don't care about Palatinate. I care about the north. Hmm. But, uh, wait. Strasbourg is a. Uh... Well, Strasbourg is a level 3 center of trade, and I can just facilize and get it. Offer. Where's the dude? Send. Wait, I cannot. Influence nation. Oh, shit. This is a bit tricky. Need to shower more money on them.
Okay, Council of Trent. Level 3, level 3, you Anik Fassel. Nope, I get it, level 2. The game is bullshit, I know. Strasbourg. Actually, I can trade even with ducats, right? It's a bit difficult. I need to send gift and shit first. And I need money for the, for that. I like how fucking every time, every institution is just a guy getting money dumped. It's like there's no reason for it to be a guy getting money dumped, but it just is. Ah. Humanist ideas, national unrest. Quality ideas. Reinforcement speed. Defensive ideas. Land attrition minus 25% is just so damn good. War oh, exhaustion reduction is decent too. Wait, it has plus two advisors nowadays. What the fuck? It feels like I should get defensive again. Reinforcement speed, attrition reduction, like what's not to like. I mean, I actually might need it when I go to the new world. Attrition, that's gonna be a bit of a